Hello and Assalamualaikum. I am Nur Izzati Zafri binti Muhammad Jafri Zain and today I am going to present my final year project which is implementing Siranching practices to overcome degraded horseshoe crab spawning ground. There are three horseshoe crab species that can be found in Malaysian waters which are Carcinoscopus rotunicauda, Tachyplus gigas and Tachyplus tridentatus. Carcinoscopus rotunicauda and Tachyplus gigas can be found in Peninsula Malaysia while Tachyplus tridentatus can be found in Sabah and Sarawak water only. Based on the graph on the right, we can see that population of horseshoe crab is decreasing instead of increasing or no change at all. This situation occurs because there is no specific or strict regulation on restriction, exploitation and consumption of horseshoe crab in Malaysia. So the objective of my project is to review the possibility to culture horseshoe crab in hatchery and to raise awareness on horseshoe crab conservation using sea ranching initiative. For the methodology part, I have reviewed 11 papers related to the study and the data were recorded according to the method used by Kameka and Brush 2012, then the data were compiled in Microsoft Excel. And we will move to the result and discussion. Rapid embryogenesis and hatching of T gigas were recorded in Zada et al. 2009 under 28 degrees Celsius and 33 ppt of salinity. The water would change in every 12 hours. With the 12 hours water change interval, this action mimic the tidal rhythm in natural habitat which provide salinity shock to the eggs. The hatching rate of Carcinoscopus rotunicauda is higher than T gigas under the similar hatchery setup by Zada et al. 2009, which suggests that incubation condition is mimic the habitat of T gigas but offer thermal and salinity shock to Carcinoscopus rotunicauda. Hatching rate in Nibiswal 2016 is higher than Zaleha et al. 2011 even though they are using almost similar hatchery setup which suggests that the fitness level of embryo used in the study conducted by Biswal et al. 2016 is higher compared to the embryo used in Zaleha et al. 2011. Egg fitness is natural selection depending on the genetic fitness of adult crabs and ability to withstand the environmental setting of the area. So any change in the environment condition will interfere with the embryo homeostatic vigor. According to Sopinka et al. 2017, the aid source from different habitat could intervene with the embryo fitness. The incubation condition suggested to incubate T gigas eggs and larvae is 26 to 28 degrees Celsius and 30 to 34 ppt of salinity. According to Zaleha et al. 2011, more than 90% hatching success were recorded in 30 ppt but the molting of trilobates is delayed by 3 to 4 hours in the similar salinity. While incubation condition for three dentatus larvae is 28 to 30 degrees Celsius and 29 0.7 to 35 ppt of salinity. According to Lee et al. 1999, more than 98% of fertilization and survival rate were recorded when the larvae is incubated under 16 to 33 ppt, but it will reduce to less than 30% when there is interactive relationship between high salinity and temperature, for example 25 and 30 ppt at 32 degrees Celsius. For Carcinoscopus rotunicauda, the condition suggested is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. The salinity suggested by Zade et al. 2009 and Hu et al. 2009 18 is 33 to 34 ppt but Sri Vijaya proposed that the larvae is well incubated in 20 ppt since the oxygen consumption of trilobates larvae is more consistent in 20 ppt rather than 10, 30 and 40 ppt. For the conclusion and recommendation, Malaysia has three horseshoe crab species and each species have different incubation settings for their eggs and larvae. All early life stage of horseshoe crab are sensitive to thermal and salinity shock. The recommended incubation setting that need to be added in the future is water change and heater for salinity and thermal shock. Then, the eggs and larvae need to be incubated in the non-static or independent chamber to reduce fungal infection on the other incubation chamber. Other than that, the water circulation is important to provide oxygenation to the eggs and prevent intoxication in the culture condition. This is my reference and that's all from me. Thank you.